Hi, and welcome to Thorogood's short web series, Rapid Fire BI with Tableau 7.0. My name is Jessica Schmidt, and I am a US-based consultant with Thorogood Associates. In this video, we are gonna demo Tableau's numerous quick and easy features that allow for creating interactive and insightful dashboards. So we'll jump right into Tableau Desktop to start this demo. To start, we have a couple of individual sheets that contain our different charts. And to create a dashboard, I'm going to right click and select New Dashboard. And now all I have to do is drag and drop, and Tableau will pull each of them on to create one comprehensive dashboard. And now I'll minimize this pane so that we can see full screen. And I'll also hide these titles to make it look a little neater. All I need to do is right click and select Hide Title. And now I'll add an overall title by going to Dashboard, Show Title. Double click and type in your new title. Now notice that Tableau automatically added all of my filters and legends that I originally added to my charts. Here I have my product legend that pertains to my scatter plot and my profit legend that pertains to my map. And here is my region filter. Notice that if I start to uncheck regions, only my bar chart updates. But perhaps it would be useful to apply this region to my map as well. The way to easily do that is to make this filter global. All I have to do is click here and select Make Global. So previously it was only a local filter and only worked with a single bar chart. But now if I start to uncheck regions, all three of my charts update. Likewise, if I reselect East, all three charts update. Very quick and very easy to do. And now, not only can I use these filters, but if I want, I can make the charts filters as well. Maybe I want to filter by things like September, or a particular product, or even a certain state. What I can do is click each chart and select Use as Filter. And I'll do that for each of my charts. So previously, only these filters worked to filter our charts, but now I can start to interact with my charts. Maybe I want to look at Montana because it was a poor performing state. I can just click on it and immediately draw insight into both my scatter plot and my map. And that concludes our demo on creating a dashboard in Tableau Desktop. Again, my name is Jessica Schmidt, and please feel free to contact me or Scott Bortz, our US Tableau practice lead, with any questions pertaining to Tableau solutions or general thoroughgood consulting. For more information on centralizing a data set, geospatial visualizations, or data blending, please check out the other short videos in this series. Thanks for watching.